You ain't slick, Pokemon. We saw that. What's up, little pups? Mr. Pokey Beach just told us how Pokemon trademarked the names Black Bolt, White Flare, and Hot Air Arena for the future Japanese Pokemon sets. What does this mean, you might ask? Well, it means that apparently in six to eight months, Pokemon is going to plan to release a set of a Black Bolt, a set of a White Flare, and a set of a Hot Air Arena. Now, it's no surprise that Pokemon showed us that they're dropping an Ends Reshiram. White Flare is literally the best indicator for a Reshiram type of set. Black Bolt, of course, is a, a beautiful indicator for Zekrom. The Black Lightning Dragon literally has a move called Bolt. And in Hot Air Arena, beautiful that we get a set based solely on Drift Blim. I'm just kidding though, it could just be Charizard, it could be Moltres, it could be Talonflame, maybe even Drift Blim. So as we can see right here on Pokey Beach, we have the news for the Black Bolt White Flare Hot Air Arena. So like they said, uh, they discover trademarks around 6 to 8 months before the Pokemon company uses them for the Japanese sets. And, uh, for example, they use they found out that Battle Partners, which is the Gym Hero set that Pokemon has been showing us since Pokemon Worlds, they discovered it in July, which tells us that it's probably going to release in January 24th. They think all three of these sets should have the owner's Pokemon, which is the Gym Heroes uh, thing where you put the trainer in the little corner of the Pokemon and the name of the trainer on top of the card. And you know what? This could just tell us that Enz Reshiram, the one they showed us in Pokemon Worlds, could be a different set from the other Gym trainers. They also say that no information on the Legend ZA, which means that the game will be coming out in 2025. Uh, everyone who's a video game fan, loves this because they wanted Pokemon to make a really good game that's not rushed or anything. So we all know that the Mega Evolution sets, the one with the, the from the Legend ZA games, they're going to come out after all the madness of the Eevee set, the Gym Heroes set, the uh, Team Rocket set, the, the whatever set that's coming. They're even giving us an outlook on the sets that are to come. So we know that September 13, Paradise Dragona is coming out. October 18, Supercharge Breaker, the Pikachu set. Paradise Dragona is the Larios Laria set. And then in November, we'll probably have the Surging Sparks set. Having both of those sets combined. They say that in December 6 is when we're going to have the Terra Still Fest Festival, which is the Eevee Illusion set that everyone's talking about. Gen 24, like I said, the Battle Partners, which is probably going to have the, the Lily's Clefairy and the Marnie's Grimmsnarl. Then we're probably going to have the team Glory of Team Rocket, which is the famous and most wanted set that everyone's talking about, the Team Rocket set. And they think that on in April and in June, we're going to have the Black Bull White Flare Hot Air Balloon, no, Hot Air Arena uh, sets. <coughs> so it's definitely looking like we're going to have a set that bases a lot of its cards on Gen 5 Pokemon. And uh, I would totally love more and more and more uh, Black Kyurem, White Kyurem cards. I was really hoping Paradise Dragona or Surging Sparks would get the Black Kyurem SIR, which has yet to be shown. So what do you guys think about these news? What do you think about Black Bull, White Flaring, Hot Air Arena? Are you guys hyped? For these sets, so we're definitely going to have more Gen 5 Pokemon Hot Air Arena. I really wonder what type of set is going to be that exactly. Hope you guys are hyped. There's a lot of things coming. And let's get into the next news.